The UK border agency is at war with smugglers in the ports and airports. Coming up, officers in Manchester get massively high hits of drugs. I mean, that's about as high as it goes. Yeah. So you're telling me you've never ever been in contact with no. cocaine? Where are you traveling from? A cigarette smuggler gets aggressive when his stash is seized. You carry on like that and you find yourself in a cell. And officers face a string of lies in Dover. No cigarette, I haven't promised. He's got his uh, driver's laptop case. More cigarettes. In Manchester, a flight has just landed from Jamaica. Sniffer dog Roddy is in operation on the hunt for any traces of cocaine. Roddy gives a clear indication on this passenger, and officers Liz and Kev step in to investigate. You got a passport and ticket? Do you have a passport and ticket? Yeah. You're travelling together, yeah? yeah, yeah. You want to come over here? I'll quick chat with you then. With over a thousand cocaine seizures a year, border officers know that cocaine smugglers come in all shapes and sizes. How long have you been away for? A week. Have you been before? No. no? What do you think of it? It's nice. Is this the same bag you took out with you? Yep. OK. The officers take the passports and swab for signs of drug use. <laughs> Just got traces of quite high traces of cocaine off a gentleman's passport. So I'll ask him if he's had any contact with drugs if he's used at all. And take it from there. Just want to quick swab of your passport, see if there's any traces of drugs on it. And yeah. there is traces of drugs. Have you ever used anything? No. Ever smoked weed or ever used anything stronger than that? Smoke, no. No. Never had any sort of contact with drugs ever. Well not no, not that no, no. Right, okay. The man clearly states he's had no contact with drugs. But officers know from experience not to believe everything they're told. Yeah, I just found a very small trace of cocaine. I've been um, swabbing around in his jeans pockets and things like that. So it's only a small one, but it's still a trace. Liz's job now is to work out if he's a user or a smuggler. You sure you've never ever used or been in contact with, with cocaine? Nope. OK. I mean, if you have, tell me now, because it's a lot easier. No. I found a very small trace. You see, I've been swabbing your clothes and everything. Yeah. Yeah, and it's come from your clothes, so... With a bit more pressure, Kev's suspect begins to contradict himself. Have you ever used drugs any time, even if it was a long time ago? Yeah, I've used it before, yeah. Well, what have you used and how long ago? Well, I don't want to discuss that because it's personal, you know what I mean? Well, it, it's relevant to... It's not relevant because I haven't got no drugs on me, so I don't well, answer that question. I don't know that. All I can go off is well, the, the traces you find no drugs. that I'm getting. Liz then swabs her passenger's suitcase, and the hit for cocaine is almost off the scale. The officers are now convinced the two suspects are carrying drugs. That is out the bottom of your suitcase. I mean, that's that's about as high as it goes. Yeah. Yeah. So you're telling me you've never ever been in contact with no. cocaine? Well, I've seen it. I've never had a lie or I've never like that in my life. No. No. I've done inside your bag. I've got. Well, I'll show you. Cocaine high. It's a really, really high reading for cocaine from inside your bag. Yeah. Now, if you use it every now and then, I'm not bothered. I just need to know. I, I didn't use it, that's what I'm trying to say. Right. Right. But the officers need answers, or the search will need to go deeper. At the end of the day, I need to know where the traces are coming from. If, if it's definitely not from you using, yeah. I've got to think you might have something concealed on you or in you, you somewhere. Search me as much as you want, mate. I ain't got um, that's what I'm told you. Can search, do whatever searches you want to do. All right. Wide. OK. I didn't, if I had something to add, I wouldn't have said I'd made that with, with him and I walked straight off and I said, no. Yeah, fair enough, it's fair oh, comment, yeah. yeah. All right. But some background checks reveal that Kev's passenger has a criminal record for dealing heroin. Stuff on CRO, supply heroin in 03. There is theft, kindred drugs going back five or six years. The officers now have proof that at least one of them is lying. At Gatwick Airport, a courier shipment has just arrived at the freight terminal. It's up to the border officers to ensure that any hidden drugs don't make it onto the streets. 
Drugs dog Megan has been brought in to speed up the search. Uh, we're just about to search some uh, cargo from South America, or some DHL mail um, from places like Colombia, Venezuela, things like that. So we're just waiting till they get all the stuff off the pallet and uh, then we'll let it go. The sniffer dog's nose is 10 times as powerful as a human. But today, it's Officer Andres who spots a suspicious smell. Uh, when I opened the box, there appeared to be a slight chemical odour coming from the box. It appears to be very heavy, this bag. has all these uh, unusual large buttons on them. Highly suspicious, Andres calls in the expert. Steve, do you want to just let the dog have a sniff of yeah, this? Yeah, sure. We're not trying to sniff it, it wouldn't be... Uh... Very good health and safety wise. Sniffing out smugglers is a job best left to the dogs. And Megan's indication on the buttons couldn't be any clearer. Is that a good indication? Yeah, that do. But there's only one way to find out for certain. Just make an incision to see if there is anything in these buttons. We have seen it in buttons here. They tend to put them, put drugs in large buttons like these. Yeah, there appears to be a white powder inside there. I will do, I'll do a test on that just to make sure it is. It appears to have gone blue, indicating the presence of uh, cocaine. It's another hit for the freight team. With three bags really all covered in huge buttons yeah. full of cocaine, it's a seizure worth tens of thousands of pounds. This particular package is going to a private individual in Spain, so we'll inform the Spanish authorities and then they'll make a decision as to whether they want to do a controlled delivery on the premises or get a warrant to search the premises, take it from there, really. Nice job. Cheers, mate. In Manchester, officers are still trying to find out why two passengers have triggered massively high readings for cocaine. It's not something we're going to use. We're not going to go and tell the police this person has admitted doing this, that, or the other. I just need to know why there's traces there. That, that's the only reason I keep asking you. I know you're probably getting fed up with me now, I keep asking the same questions, yeah, yeah. but I just need to know why there's traces there. Yeah. That's pure, cool. that's my job. I've got to, yeah. If I let you walk out of here with all these traces of coke and no explanation, my boss is going to say to me, well, you know, why have you done that? So that's the only reason I keep asking you. Kev's suspect has all admitted right. previous convictions for heroin dealing, but both suspects are adamant they've had no recent contact with cocaine. I'm getting really high traces off the case, higher than I've had off anything else, you know what I mean? I don't know why, um, you know, like off the bottom, that's, that's like from underneath the lining. But I've x-rayed it, there's nothing... My guy's been under dealing class A, haven't they, in the past? Yeah, no. probably used, they might have been out there organising something. Liz re-x-rays her passenger suitcase for any hidden concealments. How long have you had it, mate? Yeah. Just getting really, really massive hits. That's where I've had the biggest hits for cocaine, and uh, there's nothing there. It doesn't weigh anything, so. I've just swapped these debit cards, and it's completely off scale, absolutely right to the top. The officers are getting frustrated with the evasive answers. When was the last time you used coke? Know, months, months ago, I can't remember. Right. Months. OK. Kev's passenger has admitted using cocaine, but it's Liz's suspect who still says he's never touched drugs, despite all the evidence against him. Yeah, because the dog uh, indicated on you, that, that, I mean, that's the reason we stopped you. Um, want to be sure you've got nothing on you. Uh, we found traces of cocaine all over your baggage. Um, you've denied you saw contact with cocaine. You travel frequently. Um, the trip was booked by somebody else. It's just one of our indicators. So the lads are just going to take you into a private room now and search him. All right. Yeah, yeah. Running out of possible causes, Liz examines his footwear. If he's a swallower, traces of drugs would seep into the shoe. But hits off the laces would suggest he's recently handled drugs while using. And that's off his laces. You seen that off the laces? See, I've got a problem because I've really, really massive traces off your laces. There's nothing off. There's like a little trace, sort of like inside your shoes, yeah. but off your laces, it's just like it's almost all the bars again. It's like there's been loads of cocaine in contact. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean it. 
inside, but like yeah. I say, off your laces. I've never seen anything so high off laces. Um, obviously, the concern is you might have something internally. Um, if you we would. Are you, you'd be alright with that, would you? Yeah, I'd, I'd take that and I have brought that back. Okay. To make a bit stupid, this thing to bring somewhere for what? Well, people from. do, yeah. I don't know, but... So what, um, what yeah, about yeah. a urine test? If we did a urine test, what would that show us? What, my intestines? A urine test, you know, like a, a, a pee test. Oh, my pee test, yeah. a bit of cannabis. bit of cannabis, but... cannabis, yeah. Yeah, it does show cannabis, yeah, yeah. but no cocaine. No. A baffled Liz has investigated the massive cocaine hits as far as she can. With no hard evidence, the men are free to go. All right. See? Go home and burn all your stuff and <laughs> Yeah, we've just been totally searched and they're saying we've got traces of cocaine in my, in my laces in my shoes. But I don't have a clue where that could have come from. Cheers. It's happened about five times before, so it's nothing new. But to find traces of cocaine in our shoelaces, that's a new one. But I don't know where the hell it could have come from. Coming up, a cigarette smuggler gets aggressive in Manchester. You got move, move the camera, but you understand. You carry on like that, and you find yourself in the yeah. south. Coming up, officers face a string of lies in Dover. No to get it. I'm Roman. What have we got here then? We've got 14 cards. 14? Oh, well, that's the result then. At Manchester Airport, a flight has just arrived from Pakistan. Border officer Richard is x-raying bags on the lookout for excessive quantities of cigarettes. Looking at the screens, if you can see any cigarettes on these uh, monitors here. There's quite a few in the bag that look fairly obvious. Um, on a flight like this, we expect to pull off anywhere from none to 20 bags full of cigarettes or partly full of cigarettes. Passengers have a maximum of 200 cigarettes, and border officers like Az know to take nothing at face value. There isn't any particular bag that will be specific to a type of smuggling. It's any, any type of bag. It's suspicious. Uh, we look at all types of bags, whether they, they could be more firm than others, then again, they could be also quite soft. So it really doesn't matter on the type of bag. OK, we've got one here which is more or less full of cigarettes. And for people hoping to smuggle tobacco, the X-ray means there's nowhere to hide. One, two, three, four. There's at least 800 in that block there. One, two, three, four. Another 800 there. There's more lined up that way. There's more there. And this is similar. Not as obvious, but there's looks like cigarettes there as well. The bags go back on the belt as Az heads upstairs to see who will claim the suitcases. Hi there, sir. Are you travelling alone? Yeah, yeah. Just a quick extra of your bags, please. Where are you traveling from? Let's throw your bags this way, please. As starts with some simple questions. These are all your bags? Uh, yeah, all right. Have you ever been stopped by customs before? Have you ever been stopped by customs before? All right, the way to do it is by answering the questions, all right? OK. Well, you're going to have to answer them. Go around and bring your bags over to the bench, please. Officers often face angry passengers, and the man seems annoyed at being stopped. Excuse me. I'll show you this guy. Talk well, if you, if you grab the suitcase, yeah. then come over to the bench, yeah, all right? Do one. The man's right. already angry, but things are only going to get worse when he finds out Az will be seizing all his cigarettes. In Dover, officers have stopped two Bulgarian lorries. Each driver is allowed only 200 cigarettes, but a quick search found over a 1,000 in one of the cabs. Suspecting they're hiding more, both lorries will now be searched. This one over here is the one that actually got the cigarettes. He's got his girlfriend with him. Because we're travelling together, um, same company, we're going to do this one as well. Because this guy over here, he declared no cigarettes either, just some cigars. How good is your English? This man lied about not having any cigarettes. The other lorry driver is adamant he doesn't have any. Chef, how many is in here? In here? Cigarettes, how many? No, no cigarettes. Sure? No cigarettes. 
I'm promise, no cigarette. But when you know where to look, the driver's lie is easily exposed. What have we got here then? Big Jake? He says he's got 14 cartons. 14? Yeah. Same place? Oh no. Well, then it's... Oh, that's the result then. Stuffed into the cab lining are over 3,000 cigarettes. With massive profits to be made, drivers use every available space to hide cigarettes. He's already lied once. He said he had no cigarettes at all. Um, you see, we found um, um, 15 cartons of uh, each cartons got 200, so that's 3,000 in total. Um, you know, he, he's lied once, so we continue our search of the cab uh, cab unit to see if there's any more cigarettes in there. But some of this man's efforts to hide his cigarettes are laughable. Have you got any more in here yet? Uh, I'm on the front. I took all the ones at the front. Yeah. Lifted up the bunk and it's got a rubbish concealment. Proper rubbish. Is it? It's just like little green plastic over and something like that. Uh, so, uh, so there is more fags in there? Brilliant. <laughs> the officers suspect he's used the hidey hole before. Oh dear. Basically, all the food across the top, just that green plastic on top. Take that off. Clean plastic and cigarettes underneath. Very simple. Not very complicated. He just lied that he doesn't get stopped. And that's what he's got there. With both lorry drivers having lied about not carrying any cigarettes, officers will be imposing a strict punishment. But because he's used the unit to smuggle the cigarettes in, then as a extra as a punishment, um, he'll lose the cab unit. The only way he can get the cab unit back is he'll have to incur a fine. How we come to the figure of the fine is we work out how many cigarettes he's got, um, add them all up, and then we work out the duty on these cigarettes, what the duty would be equivalent in, in the UK. For the drivers, it's an expensive lesson. Oh, and it doesn't go down well. Back in Manchester, Officer Az is also dealing with strong language from his feisty passenger. Do you have any photo ID travel documents? Yeah, I do. Can I see them, please? Can I see them? How long were you away for? Two months. All right. What was the purpose of your visit? Family. I'm sorry? Family business, OK. Uh, I'm going to look inside your bags. Did you pack everything yourself? Yeah. Do you know what's inside the bags? Clothes, isn't it? All right. Has you, your uncle's packed it? Yeah. All right. Do you understand you can't bring any controlled drugs, a decent obscene material, firearms to the country? Yeah. Do you know what your allowance of cigarettes are? Huh? Do you know what your allowance of cigarettes are? <laughs> well, just do your job, mate. Do you know what your allowance are? What? You got any cigarettes in here? Yeah, I've got cigarettes in there. How many have you got? Tuna. A tuna? Yeah. Tuna, tuna. What's it? 20? Yeah. All right, your allowance is only 200, OK? So you've got 20 sleeves. It's too many, OK? Oh. Yeah. Suddenly, the man's mood changes. Do you work at the moment? Uh, Excuse me. Yeah, talk to me. Look, why, why is look. The on my face, I'm going to do these bags, yeah, OK? Guy, look, guy, right, well, there's no need to yeah, be like tell, that. Tell him to move, then. All right. Move, move the camera, the With the passenger getting aggressive, yeah. Officer Gary steps in. You carry on like that, and you find yourself in a yeah. cell. Right, no so problem. you keep your mouth shut, and they go with this, okay? He was quite obstructive. He's not. Uh, I wouldn't say he was an easy passenger. He was quite obstructive. Oh, so I'm telling you allowed 200 or 400? 200. But because you haven't declared them, 200 is you won't be. Yeah, yeah that's right. But the man won't be leaving with his allowance. You go over 200, you lose everything. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Once you exceed your allowance, you lose the right to an allowance. So therefore, today you'll be going home with no cigarettes. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. No, that won't be going back. I've just explained it to you. Once you exceed your allowance, yeah. you lose the oh, right. Everything. If you let me finish. The man has exceeded his allowance by 5,000 cigarettes. He's not best pleased he'll be leaving with none. Five, yeah. five, 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 26. 26 leaves. 26 leaves. Yeah. yeah. All right, now, what I'm going to do, OK? What you're going to do is, what are you going to do? I'm going to get some paperwork sorted out yeah. for you and get you going, all right? 
Cue puppy may be up here a lot. Right. As tries to educate the passenger so he doesn't make the same mistake again. This is a receipt to say I've seized yeah. 5,200 cigarettes, yeah? I'm also giving you a warning letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember about uh, bringing in large amounts of cigarettes. Here's a copy for your records. This is, hang on, I haven't finished yet. Your copy yet. Just trying to there. That's for you, the original. Yeah, listen. You keep going away. What do I need that for? This is information about what you bring in, and there's a right to appeal as well. If you wait two minutes, you can get that as well. The man is eager to leave. Thanks for your time. But if he doesn't want cigarettes seized from him again, <laughs> he'll need to watch his step. We get all kinds of people with all kinds of moods. Some people are quite happy and quite welcoming to our customs officer. Unfortunately, this wasn't one of the passengers, you know. In Dover, the drivers who swore they had no cigarettes have been well and truly found Maybe out. No cigarette. And chef, chef in here, no cigarettes? No cigarette. I'm promise. I'm promise. More facts. In all, officers find more than 10,000 cigarettes in this devious driver's cabin. This is a trouble sometimes it can be quite a long, convoluted process because you have got to literally check everywhere. Uh, you, you can't rely on, on the drivers necessarily to, uh, to tell you the truth at any point. <laughs> Which is a shame, but uh, obviously if we did start believing people, we probably wouldn't find it. So. Smuggling cigarettes is a serious crime, and both drivers must now pay the UK duty on the entire amount. If not, their lorries will be seized, and they'll be walking home. The first driver is forced to pay nearly £1,000 on the spot. One of the uh, vehicles has been successfully restored for £985. Uh, the other driver uh, can't afford to pay. He says he's going to pay tomorrow, uh, so therefore it's uh, seized, stays in our care until he's paid. Simple as that. When it comes to cigarette smuggling, officers don't mess around. The man will leave with no cigarettes and no lorry. The cash-strapped driver asked for a lift whilst making a desperate call to the bank. After a cosy night together, he's vowed to return in the morning to pay off his £1,800 fine. The Bulgarian lorry driver did return the following day to pay off his fine. He was given his lorry back and a stern warning.